Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to give you some advice in order for you to have a good sound on playing the recorder. Without further ado, let's begin this video. First, we need to learn how to properly handle our instrument. The recorder has 8 holes. Let's count. 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, and 8. And each hole has a finger assigned to cover it. My first advice is you need not only to cover the holes, but to cover the holes completely without any leak. Again, there are assigned fingers to cover each hole. We need to use our left thumb to cover the back hole. Just like this. For the holes in front, starting from the top, use your left index finger. Next is left middle finger, left third finger, right index finger, right middle finger, right third finger, and last, right pinky. This is the proper position of our fingers. In order for us to completely cover each holes, we need to use our finger palm or fingerprint to cover each holes, not our fingertip. This will happen if we're going to use our fingertip to cover the holes. If we use our finger palm or our fingerprint, this will be the sound. Let's go to the proper blowing. Place the tip of the recorder into your mouth, just like this. We're not going to eat the recorder, we're going to play it. So, make sure that your teeth are not touching the mouthpiece. Do you know that some instruments require to place your teeth in the mouthpiece? Such as saxophone, and that's for proper embouchure, but that's not applicable in the recorder. My next advice is blow gently. Unlike loud tuba, the recorder is a small wind instrument. This will happen if we blow hard into the recorder. Yep, it's annoying. We need to be aware also that there are types of recorder based on the fingering style. We have the Baroque or English recorder and the German recorder. Which means that if you have a Baroque or English recorder, you need to use a Baroque or English fingering chart. Likewise, if you have a German recorder, you need to use a German fingering chart. And how are we going to identify if our recorder is an English or Baroque recorder or a German recorder. If we look into the back hole, we can see a letter beside it. It can be letter G, letter E, or letter B. The letter at the back doesn't mean the key of the recorder. It doesn't mean we have key of G, key of E, or key of B. The key of the recorder depends on its size. For example, this is a soprano recorder and this is key of C. This is an alto recorder and this is key of F. These are the sizes of the recorder. Sopranino is key of F, soprano is key of C, alto key of F, tenor C, bass key of F, and great bass is key of C. Again, 
The letter on the back of the recorder means the type of the fingering style. If you see letter E or letter B, it means that your recorder is English or Baroque recorder. If you see letter G at the back of the recorder, it means that your recorder is a German recorder. If your recorder doesn't have a letter on the back, you can still identify what type of recorder it is by just looking on the fourth and fifth hole. If the fourth hole is bigger than the fifth hole, it is a German recorder. If the fifth hole is bigger than the fourth hole, it is an English or Baroque recorder. Recorders are originally in Baroque or English style. In 1920s, instrument designer Peter Harlan felt that the standard Baroque recorder is too difficult for the beginners to learn, since some of the notes put the player's fingers in positions that can feel uncomfortable or unnatural, specifically the F note in soprano or the B flat note in alto. So, Peter Harlan developed a recorder with apparently simpler fingering called the German recorder. That's it for today's video. I hope you have learned something. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my next uploads, feel free to click that bell icon so that you will never miss a thing. Before I end this video, I'm going to introduce to you my new instrument from Artinoise. This is an electronic recorder. Let's open the box. This is not an ordinary recorder because this is a digital recorder.